this lesson, we're going to be looking at target audience. So, um, by the end of this short session, you will be able to understand what is meant by target audience and the different types of target audience, as well as the demographics of target audience. Um, so, when thinking about target audience, you need to consider these following points here. Um, you need to think about what they are interested in. So, that you've got a specific target audience, but what are their interests? What do they enjoy? What do they like? That sort of thing. Um, the colours, um, if you're making a product aimed at young people like yourselves, uh, what colours would you usually associate with them? Um, you wouldn't have dark, dull colours for 15 year old because they won't be interested in that. They might want more bright, more subtle colours. Um, what design ideas would be most suitable? So what layouts would they like the most? Would they like, um, if it's a poster, for example, would they like a title at the top and loads of text? Or would they want a title at the top, but text? But mixed into that text is things like pictures, uh, infographics, that sort of thing. It could look more advertising. Um, where is the target audience located? So to think about where are your targets located? So it could be, are they located in England? Are they located in France, in um, USA, China? Wherever they're located, think about that as well. Is there any specific ethnicity or religion associated with the target audience? So if you think about certain products that are aimed at certain ethnicities, like, um, for example, out here, a Bible, for example, um, they will be associated mostly with Christians, for example, stuff like that. Um, and another religion might not be interested in a Bible, really, would they? Um, so, uh, so what we're looking at now is something called demographics. And... Um, Demographics are things like the age of the target audience, the gender, the location, ethnicity, and the income of the target audience. So if you was creating a product, you need to think about how old are the people it's aimed at, what's the gender, location, ethnicity, and income. Um, this table here is a bit more detail for you. So you've really got target audience, then you've got their age, how old are the people you're making a product for, what's the gender, ethnicity, income, where they're located, and accessibility. Accessibility means things like if they are a disabled user, for example, but bad eyesight and they can't walk very well, how is that product accessible to them? Um, so, look, two examples here to look at. Um, so, who do we think the target audience for this is? So this is Paw Patrol. If you've seen it already, it's a cracking TV show. Um, the age of this is probably children isn't it so it might be between the age of three to seven for example i don't know three to seven something like that uh, gender i think it's both male and female isn't it really uh, location so we think about paw patrol we need to think about what countries <coughs> have paw patrol available um do they translate in different languages they might do um this one um this is a bit more awkward because we need to look at the text on this a magazine cover here so the age is probably men so probably people over the age of 18 goes back to men's fitness here look um, the gender again as men's fitness probably men uh, location this is where the reading comes into play so you notice that it says here america's toughest drug cop and um, la's violent surf gang um hollywood so the location of this is probably america or more specifically los angeles as it's LA there, Hollywood's in LA, that sort of thing. Um, so, things to remember. Um, when thinking about target audience, consider what their interests are, what colours might might attract to them, and what design ideas you might use, so what's the layout of it, for example, uh, location, where they based, ethnicity, or culture. And again, here, this massive table here, um, age, gender, ethnicity, income, location, accessibility. Okay, so think about all of these things when you're writing um, in the exam. If you get quite asked questions about this, please make sure you're including all of these things.